Hey, everybody. Welcome. Uh, we are really excited. we got a special, very special episode. Uh, one year ago, about uh, November 14th, we had the distinct privilege of interviewing Why Why Not for uh, Rush fans for our YouTube channel. And uh, for some reason, they came back. So <laughs> we're glad that, uh, <laughs> that you're here. And then an extra special yeah. uh, treat. Uh, we have uh, Kathy Rankin, who's going to be hosting Bubba Bash. We're going to talk about that a lot tonight. And then uh, Michael uh, Mossback, who had who was the head of Rush Security, uh, personal friend and cycling partner with Niels. So, uh, guys, thanks. We're just really glad you're here. Thanks for coming Thank on you. board. Well, thanks so, for having uh, us. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah. Yeah. You're not as Thank sharply you. dressed thanks, Tim, this time, but, you know. Yeah. I, I, I feel okay. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. I, I pulled my fur coat out of the closet. Yeah, and I, said, uh, I, can't, I can't do it again. <laughs> you know. It, it, it was a like, time deal. Yeah, it's a what you do is you get you, you get a different fur coat for the the second one. So no, you change come it on, up, man. Come on, <laughs> team money. Team money would never do that. Yeah. So uh, so cool. So once uh, before we get into Bubba Bash, uh, yeah. last time when you guys were here, uh, Patty was uh, belting out the vocals, and uh, this time we're joined by Adi Argalazi. I hope I said that right, Adi. And yes. close. Cl <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so before we get into uh, Bubba Bash, uh, would you mind just kind of maybe telling us a little bit about you and how you got involved with uh, with these crazy guys? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm Adi. Um, I'm from L.A., originally from Israel. Um, and, oh, how did it happen? Why, why not? I've, yeah. been jamming, I've been jamming at the Whiskey a go, go in Hollywood for couple of years and I've been in that scene for a little while and um some of my appointments has heard about um Billy and Tim and Mike looking for a new singer and they recommended me apparently I don't know why just kidding um, <laughs> <laughs> I've been recommended by them and then uh Billy came to see me live and we chatted a little bit and then we did a whole like uh hang and um video chat with Tim and um we just got along super well and it just naturally happened and here we are. Nice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. That's awesome. It's it's because you could belt out that high note at the end of Cygnus X1, isn't it? Yeah, that, I mean your... <laughs> I, I, I found that out as you did the second time. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh -huh. cool. Andy, how, description. how much how much rush were you familiar with before you joined them so my dad was always a huge rush fan so i've been having a lot of like records like vinyls uh in my childhood home yeah, so i've been always hearing rush in the background but oh, awesome. i wasn't like super familiar with singing like i never sang rush before why why not mm. and now i can't stop so it's kind yeah. of like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? but we're not gonna yeah. let you stop Right. You're amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. In case, That's in awesome. case you didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to be able to memorize those lyrics and that kind of phrasing. Oh my gosh. I, yeah. You're incredible. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's real hard. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. I'd like to point out that so great. one of the one of the coolest things about having ID as part of Why Why Not is that she really is a cool human being. She's a pleasure to be around. It, it feels like yeah. like like four cohesive parts, you know, yeah. and it's just a lot of fun, you know. It, it is, and that's that's super yeah, important. That's, I, you, it, you always hear about it and read about it. The hang is more important than you know anything else. Well, you know what, folks, it is. It, it is it really. It really right. is. It is. Yeah. So, and, I mean, yeah. we learned that from Rush, right? I mean, they were friends first and foremost. You know, yeah. and that's what the, band, yeah. the kind of band that they were. And that's one of the things we love about them uh, so much. So uh, that's great. That's great. That's so awesome. let's get into, no, go ahead. Who was? No, 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 go. Oh, okay. Because, uh, you know, we want to talk mostly about Bubba Bash um, yes. uh, in this episode. And, you know, last year was the first one, right? And it raised, uh, or, well, actually this year, but uh, January 2023, the next one will be just a few weeks. January 2024, and oh, yeah. you raised well over $100,000 for Cedar yeah. sinai wow. right? The thing that took care of Neil, is that right? 
Wow. Yes. Like him, anybody? That yeah. that is wow. the truth. Wow. That is the total the, the truth. It, it it was unbelievable. So the out the outpouring of love and 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 the friendship and the family and and all the fans knowing that we're you know we're doing something really cool, honest, pure, and fun. It was just mm-hmm. fantastic. You know, uh Michael was able to arrange, you know, several really unique items that we auctioned on the Bubba Bash auction link, which if I don't mind saying, we have some really incredible things this year as well. Ah. Uh, we have another signed symbol from Neil that Michael donated. Uh, nice. We have a, uh, a one of three print that was actually made for Neil. It's really fantastic. You'll see it. Charlie Roy donated another painting. Ah, the Bubba nice. Bash. And, and not just one of Charlie Roy's paintings. They're all great, but one it, specifically for the Bubba <laughs> Bash. And uh, we're going to have some uh, Neil, Neil sticks from a show. Uh, and today I just informed that a wonderful fan and a, a Rush fan, uh, you remember Grapes Under Pressure, the train tour they did at, to the wine gallery, yes. Alex and Neil's charity? You know, where you could ride on a train with them. Okay. Right. Somebody oh, yeah. donated donated an unopened gift bag. There's a shirt, oh. there's a bottle of wine signed by Alex and Getty, the mug, wow. the, glass, cool. the bag, wow. the, the, the whole thing. That's you know, cool. So that's going to be up on the eBay. That office. is great. You know, and, and of course, 100% of that money, as well as T-shirt sales, posters, and, and anything else we generate, you know, as Bubba Bash <laughs> goes uh, right. directly to Cedar sinai there's the pitch, yeah. folks. Come that's, and rock out. That's so great. <laughs> and there's only there's only 50 tickets left, so get oh, on wow. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you'll definitely exceed what you did last year. Uh, I have no doubt about that. Uh, I'm hoping. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Michael, uh, if uh, Michael Mosbach, we have two Michaels uh, with us. Um, if you could share with us kind of how this came about. What was the uh, what inspired? you know, the idea to do this particular kind of event. How did it come together? I understand there's a special relationship between you and Tim uh, in making this happen, but uh, tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd, I'd be happy to give you the details, but Tim actually knows the details better. He called me and um, we called each other back and forth a couple of times. The next thing you know, we had a bash. Yeah. Um, uh, Tim, nice. you want to explain how that uh, magic happened? Sure. Okay. The it this originally started when we had a show booked at the Keswick Theater on that date, and it happened to be the third anniversary of Neil's passing. Well, at first, we didn't understand that it, it was just another show on our calendar, and then I don't know who brought it up. I think maybe Billy or, or or somebody brought it up that that date was the date. So oh, wow. after a quick after a quick conference with Billy, I said, "Let me call Michael." And just see if, you know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't do this show out of respect. Let me ask for his blessings. Let, just let me see what Michael thinks about us doing, you know, a Rush tribute show on that date. So I called Michael and immediately his response was, no, do it. And, you know, maybe we could do something. So I said, hey, do you think you can get Portnoy to come up and play one song that night? You know, maybe we could do something, raise some money or whatever. And he says, I'll call you back in 15 minutes. He called me back <laughs> in 15 minutes and the whole Bubba Bash lineup was already set. And Michael, what's the famous phrase? <laughs> Don't leave me hanging, man. I, you said it earlier. No one said no. No one we said no. No one, one said, said no. No one said no. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, we, and and good. side note, we actually called it "Why Why Not" and the Ego Free Band. Right, that was the first one. <laughs> nice. I, yeah, you know, not as catchy as Bubba Bash, <laughs> because there were many, there were many caliber of drummers there and musicians there, and everyone was a gentleman. No one thought they were better than anyone. Everyone got along, ate together, drank together. We had breakfast together, and um, and no one paid. Um, 
we we didn't have to pay them. They just came there on their own dime. It, wow. it was purely an amazing event. That's, yeah. Everybody, I mean, Kevin J. Anderson donated a bunch of stuff. I have stuff from him this year's oh. production too, as well. Cool. And, uh, Satellite Screen Printing, who makes the Why Why Not shirts, donated the shirts. You know, for the nice. Bubba Bash, it was just great. And we have you know, Fantunes, like, we have Sabian, we have everybody. Yeah. There. Nice. Yeah. But nice. It, wow. I like I like that you mentioned. You know, the whole the camaraderie and the the feeling of of family that that the whole event had. You know, I'm sure Mike and Billy can, you know, expand on that because I've heard you guys talk about you know what it was like back there. In your view, anyone? Mike? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty fantastic. And everybody came in and it was such a team effort. And um, yeah, just like everybody backstage was hanging and like they're all telling stories and just everybody got along so well and everybody just wanted to make it the best event it could be. And I really think that happened. And I mean, I, it's going to happen again this next year too. I mean, it's going to be such yeah. a great time. Just such, such great friends and um, yeah, just we're doing it all for Neil and it's going to be incredible. I, not to like interrupt, but I just think that's such a reflection of who Neil was and why yeah. people loved him so much and why Rush fans just connect in a unique way. Um, all over Facebook and Instagram, you guys' podcast, there's such a huge community where people feel like they know each other, even though they don't know each other. And it's all based on, you know, not just Rush's music, but who those guys were as people yeah. like how they were great friends like we were talking about earlier so i just think it's a great reflection i would expect that from people who loved neil and loved rush Love yeah. Yeah. Oh, Kathy, no, you, actually, you actually it hit, really is i don't know if my mic's on is my mic on yeah um, yeah you actually hit on on the whole thing you know because coming from michael and him knowing all these gentlemen yeah and them actually being friends of neil's that it wasn't you know some famous musician who just wanted to tag their name onto an event to get some you know some limelight no pun intended um it's everybody everybody involved and the second we we had already met michael he'd been to a couple of why why not shows uh or sorry mike portnoy but all the other musicians as soon as they came to soundcheck it was just back slapping hello and just the spirit of the of everybody on stage was so selfless and so all about a singular thing um, that that just really was, I'd never been part of anything like that. It just really was just um, probably one of the most special things about it. And I think we have a, a few new people um, involved this year, right, Tim? And then some the returning yeah. players as mm -hmm. well. So, and all in the same spirit of people who had a familiarity. Also, uh, Michael can talk about the sort of the blessing from the family for this event and and uh, all that, um, which just really makes it just uh, so special. You know, it really is unique and special. Yeah, and we're doing It'll it be a again. Little family reunion. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. much so. Yeah, yeah. It's so that. it's it's so great and refreshing to hear that you know people coming together for the love they had of of the band and the music and the love and the respect they had for Neil and just donating their not only their time but right donating their heart to it it's just yeah. so refreshing to hear that i love it well well put that's that pretty much sums it up right there thank you yeah. so kathy um how did you get involved what's uh what's that story that's <laughs> yeah. what i mean that you guys they could have picked a better host and mc than than kathy Rankin. don't tell them everything yeah, absolutely don't tell them everything. outstanding <laughs> 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 it really was it was wild i i followed why why not for a while on social media and i think i've commented on their posts a few times i've seen i mean obviously i think they're amazing and oh, yeah. um you know huge rush fan myself and everybody that knows me knows i'm a huge rush fan and one day I didn't get to go to Bubba Bash the first year and I really wanted to. And so this year I told my band, you know, you absolutely have to do not put anything on the calendar when they <laughs> the dates because I want to be able to go this time. And so 
as soon as I saw it, but I donated last year, I donated um, to Cedar sinai and, and then all of a sudden I saw this post and I think it was, it was either Tim's own post or why, why not post announcing Bubba bash. And they said the date, and I like immediately went and got my tickets and I just put a little comment, you know, got my tickets. Yay. And five seconds later, I get a message from Tim saying, Hey, you want to host this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you're I, coming anyway. <laughs> Just sitting I just there waiting. back in giant <laughs> capital letters. Hell yeah. 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 Like, totally he's like, you, he, I, he said something funny back. And I, so that's literally how it happened. And I was just blown away. Um, it, it's a huge honor for me. And, you know, I do a lot of hosting stuff, but when you're personally connected to something, I mean, it's, it's sort of a pinch me moment for me because just to be involved with people who actually knew Neil, I never had the opportunity to meet him. Um, I met Getty and Alex, but just to be involved, I'm just a, you know, 40 year fan. And I know that um, the music and, and in particular for me, Neil as a writer has just had such an impact on me and so many other people. So to do this is just something that um, just is really special for me. So. Awesome. That's so great. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to ask maybe a few little kind of music questions, but my, my first one uh, is for, uh, for Mike. And uh, uh, I mean, you know, you're an incredible. Oh, drummer. Yes. <laughs> well, the, 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 the drummer, the, Mike, tell him the drummer has to go first. We, it's okay, hours. perfect. Yeah. Well, it's good to start a show with a drum solo. <laughs> Some drummers <laughs> might be biased, Jim Benner. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, so yeah, I mean, you know, you're out there playing and you do incredible, but, you know, I have kind of two questions. Uh, one, to be playing, especially, and with, you know, uh, Michael's help and the family's blessing, to be playing in honor of Neil, what that has to be like. Uh, is that, can you describe what that's like just for you? To, well, to I mean, well, going into any, I mean, even when I first joined Why Why Not several years ago, I mean, there's always just, I have so much reverence for that band, for Rush. It's like, you just want to go in and do the most honorable performance you can of any of the songs. And I mean, like, I really pay a lot, I try to pay a lot of attention to detail and try to get all of the different nuances and like, I'll study like many different versions of the tracks and just try to put together the, like the best version I can of each of the songs. And when Bubba Bash happened last year, it was sort of like, um, all of the, the gigs leading up to that were sort of <laughs> for playing that kind of a show, you know? And just like when Bubba Bash happened last year, it was like, okay, yeah, now it's like, I had my, we had some sort of the warm up period. And now, what are you laughing at? We had the warm up period. Pause back. Oh. <laughs> and we made um, balloons. Yeah, nice. Anyway, we did. Um, we made it was you yeah, and like definitely there was more pressure um, at Bubble Dash for sure. Like you just want to go out and do a great job. But I mean, yeah, yeah just anytime you're performing this music, it's like it needs to be done properly and it needs to, it can't just be. Like you go in and wing it and do whatever. Like you need to just oh, prepare mm -hmm. for this music. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That that's yeah. one thing. You know, uh, it's not a jam night. You know, we, we do our best. You know, all of us in the band and Mike especially to exactly replicate whatever version we're doing. You know, if not for ourselves, because it, it makes it more interesting. Like every once in a while, we'll go, hey, let's do that live version from 1982, that little drum thing in Red Bar Shadow or whatever, you know. And what's cool is it, it, it makes me feel giddy, you know, because, you know, I'm, it's almost like I'm recreating, you know, that, that little feeling that I at Nassau Coliseum during Signals Tour. Yeah. When Kenny did yeah. that thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it, it also does things for the people experiencing it. They're like, ha, you know, storm over Tucson bootleg 1978. Yeah. I remember yeah. that, you know, right. You know, it's just, it's really cool. And, and Mike holds it all together, man, like a rock. You know? Oh yeah. He's, I, 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 and he owns I've a van. Plenty. So he's in. 
Yeah, 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 well, there you go. Have... Right, he owns the van. You gotta, you, you gotta have the van. But I, I, yep. I've watched quite a few videos of of Mike playing, and he is incredible, yeah. incredible yeah. drummer, man. Yeah, no doubt. We're honored to be on the stage. Did you feel pressure? Because Rush fans can be so picky. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's not. There's definitely pressure. It's never. I know, right? Not it shows. It's always like the Facebook comments the day after you post a video. <laughs> and then they're yeah. because they get yeah. talking to you directly. And then it's like, oh yeah, you're just like, oh man, you're awful. This was horrible. What? what, what yeah. But yeah. You're right. right. I mean, pretty nice. Right. <laughs> why, why did you do a paraflamidil instead me. of a flamidil? I know. Yeah. I, I know, right? <laughs> I read a comment oh, today man. on like. Even one of, not on you guys or any other tribute band was on Rush themselves, and I can't remember which record the guy was commenting on, but yeah, I really wish they would have chosen some different production people, and they did, you know, like, <laughs> sure, oh, man, <laughs> Rush yeah. like that. Um, yeah, <laughs> Mike, I, apo it... I I apologize right now for saying all those mean things on on the. That was Social you? networking about your playing. Oh, it was I, you. I, okay. Yeah. It was. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to apologize. That's all. <laughs> Make amends. So, you know, also, Mike, when, you know, Mike Portnoy sits behind your kit. Yeah. And I, I imagine you're probably not just backstage having a smoke break. You know, or <laughs> checking baseball scores. You know, like you're 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 probably right there oh yeah i mean i'm you know i'm, I'm around or at least last year i was around the whole show and i mean for me i mean the other guys are fantastic that played with us but like i kind of grew up listening to portnoy playing you know like more so than some of the other guys and just to be working with him in that capacity was just mind-blowingly cool and even oh, just yeah. getting to watch him play and do his thing on like my kit it's just like, oh, like I picked up like two or three things just yeah. there, yeah. Like yeah. close. It's like, oh, he like he like a little bit more circular and whatever. And like he's you know, <laughs> leaned back sometimes when he does a fill. And it's like, okay, wow, I never noticed that before. But it's really cool. Hey, I, I want to say something about the Bubba Bash. During the bash, all the drummers were like hiding behind the curtain <laughs> like this. Totally. Watching the other drummers. And when they were done... <laughs> There was high fives, like you nailed it, you know. It was, yeah. it was so it was so cool. It was like a whole team of guys, you know. It, it was just it was just really awesome. fantastic. And Mike, now I'm probably wrong about the show, but he asked if you ever, you know, nervous with Mike behind your kit. Was it our first show when Oh yeah, when, when the first time the first time Portal came up to see why why not, it was my yeah. first show with the band. Oh right. man. It, it, oh, wow. it went like this. Oh, yeah. It went it went, Hey Mike, I'm really excited that you know we're finally getting to play live with you. Oh, and by the way, Michael Mosbach's coming. I was like, oh, he's bringing oh, Mike Portnoy. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh. Me. <laughs> and and wow. Portnoy was out there air drumming the whole night. Where did Mosbach go? Yeah, we lost him just a second ago. Yeah, we did. We'll get him back. Yeah, he said something yeah, about I don't... Being outside the FBI building, so who knows? Yeah. I don't know about you, Mike, but whenever other drummers I know come to see come to see me play, immediately it's like, ah, uh oh, crap. <coughs> I have to tell myself, okay, just relax, be yourself, play the stuff you play, don't worry about it, don't get in your oh, head. Yeah. Other musicians, I'm like, yeah, cool, man. Hey, what's up? Drummers, I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, for, I mean, for me, it's sort of like I can. I feel like I would have those feelings before we go on stage and play, maybe. But once we're on stage, it's just like, yeah, we're yeah. doing, You're doing our thing. It's just like what yeah. we were meant to do. And like, if yeah. you know, the audience is here, like, I hope they like it. You know. Yeah, right, I got I got a Mozback update. He had to go okay. back to work inside that building. Oh, so, okay. So, he's got a day job. Nice. So, ah. so you stuck with us. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Okay, we're going to just wrap up now. All right, well, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Billy, what do you got? In terms of what? 
Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wide open question. Your guitar, your guitar like, is all tuned. Like You're ready to go. Weed, like guitars. Mm. You need guitars. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> I got guitars. I got amps. Yeah. Uh, no. So, so yeah. this year we're doing some stuff that normally we wouldn't do. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, may wind up being stuff we do. Oh, yeah, uh, like, well, in, right? the, in, in the discussions like? of the set list and certain uh, guest drummers kind of coming up with ideas, well, I'd love to play such and such song uh, rather than us go, well, you know, we don't know that one. And by the way, you know, we have no rehearsal ourselves, much less with you. So <laughs> we did it anyway. <laughs> Tim's like, well, I think we got to. So it's like, OK, well, that's a song I've certainly never played before, but yeah. I'll I'll learn it, and I guess we'll just maybe play a fourth of it at sound check and hope we do it okay in front of a yeah. full theater of everybody. <laughs> uh, and we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah you so, will. Uh, yeah, oh. we're, we're we're kind of we're kind of uh, I guess at this point built for no rehearsal, which is yeah, it's it's nerve wracking for sure. But I mean, it, we really have no choice. You it, know? yeah, ner nerve wracking. It probably gives like some kind of a little bit of edge you know to, to to things because you're like oh man i hope i hope we hit this phil we're all three supposed to you know hit this together i hope this works out it probably hits the edge rehearsal. Like i'd prefer well rehearsal. yes yeah of I, do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know of the excite said. the excitement of the unknown. oh yeah no it's definitely we're definitely on the razor's edge <laughs> yeah. oh yeah for sure well, juggling for uh, flaming chainsaws yeah. since you bring up the set list i do just want to say uh, at not being part of your band as a Rush fan, I saw the set list. I won't give anything away, but it's literally every song I would want to hear. And you know, when right. you rush, when you would go to different Rush tours, you'd be hoping to hear certain songs, but they had such a huge catalog. You never kn knew if you're going to hear all the ones you wanted to hear. And um, right. just every song on the set list is like one I would specifically want to hear. So mm. I, Nice. I was blown away by that. It's it's yeah. watching, you know, there's 50 tickets left. If you want to see some great rush music played, get your ticket and go. You don't miss yeah. out on it. Now, it's for those of us who, who won't be there, um, has there been any talk about a, a DVD or Blu-ray or some kind of recording of the uh, the show? Uh, I think there's... Or, or can you say? <laughs> well, we, we, we recorded off the board last year and then we had... Um, our good friend Bob Williams uh, do some some video, and we uh, it's out on the internet. Some of the performances are out, so um, there is a plan to do some recording. I don't know as far as releasing anything. Certainly, wouldn't be anything released commercially. It, everything's in the spirit of the yeah. charity and stuff right. like that. But but yeah, mm -hmm. you'll you'll anybody who does it, well. First of all, you got to see it in person. So get your ticket. No, but, yeah. But, but if you're just <laughs> yeah. unable to. Um, yeah, at some point we'll be releasing some performances from the show yeah. as, as, as we did last year, like I said. And, nice. and speaking of that, uh, M3, I think Music Mix Master, is uh, bringing in a mobile unit mm -hmm. to record the show. Mm. And oh, awesome. They're the guys who did several of the Rush DVDs. They're donating Ooh. their time to come Very in and do it. Wow. And they're wow, coordinating yeah. that with uh, our front of house engineer for the show, uh, Anson Moore, who most recently was front of house for Getty's book tour, but was also on the audio team of the last 10 or 15 years with Rush. Yeah, so he's very, very familiar yeah. Uh, yeah. with uh, mixing Rush audio. And on nice. top of that, uh, how, how did Anson put it? Uh, Howard's left-hand man, Andy O'Toole, mm -hmm. will be programming and running the lighting a la oh. Rush. And we're bringing in some special <laughs> ground lighting effects, you know, to further pay homage in the spirit of Rush for this show. So it's really top-notch, and all these, you know, wonderful people, you know, are coming in and doing this to make this the best Bubba Bash ever. So it's going to be tough to top next year, but we're going to go for it. In all respects. So there will be a next year, yes. yeah. a year after Oh, this that. ain't stopping. 
Yeah, no, this yeah. is not stopping. You go on. Ain't yeah. no way. Uh, I, yeah, the list. Nice. I do believe that uh, the date will change next year and maybe the coast. That's all I could say. Okay. Right. Good so, deal. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Very cool. So, you know, Rush always talked about, you know, Getty said once, and I think it was the Time Stand Still documentary that, you know, they're over rehearsers, you know, and getting things in, in muscle memory. And you guys really haven't had that luxury. You kind of alluded to it uh, a second ago, Billy, that, uh, you know, you don't get to rehearse like you would like to. But, um, you know, I've watched a thousand YouTube videos, <laughs> things like that. You guys always nail it. Tone, okay. performance, notes. Um, uh, so getting that kind of chemistry is a rush reference uh is um you know it's kind of a special a special gift and it kind of is a testament to you know just the the kind of people and musicians that that you are um but doing something like this uh you know with with that in mind um right. you kind of alluded to being nerve-wracking uh, a little bit but yeah but, you know yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah. But so what, what is that sort of when you come together, uh, you know, and do a show, I don't know how many shows ideas done with why, why not now? Uh, how do you get in the groove? I, well, you know, and, and uh, you said not as much rehearsal as we'd like, we, we don't get any. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so not even so, as much as you would not so, like. <laughs> so really it, it's, it does take, it does take four individuals that, really hammer away at their homework and being professional and being prepared and showing up prepared because um there's really it's also for your own head because if you're i mean you know if you go up there and you're not really you're a little shaky um mm -hmm. it's just you're not you're not going to have a great show for yourself and then it's also for your for your bandmates you 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 want to be there for them with all you got in terms of being prepared and then of course the audience and then have a little left over <laughs> to interact and have fun on stage and interact and have fun with the audience as well you can't just be staring at your shoes like you're taking a math test or something like that um but in your head sometimes <laughs> there are parts where you're just like oh here comes that thing <laughs> I, better, I, better not, I better not blow chunks on this guy <laughs> you know that's, yeah that, that's the whole night yeah and that's what's so you know like billy was saying it's it's so you know, we do, we over prepare separately. Well, add to you know? with this, with, we have drummers that we don't rehearse with as well. And then we're going to play some songs that both we've never played at all. And then with a drummer that we've never played it with yeah. so, and no rehearsal. But uh, I remember uh, last year, uh, Bittner, uh, when he, I think when he got off stage, right as soon as he got off stage playing natural science, yeah, Ooh. I forget which part he he said that one part. He goes, he goes as soon as I've that was the one I was worried about the most. He goes as soon as I nailed that that fill, I was like, oh, I got the rest is like it's just downhill. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, no, this is, the rest is no problem. Wow. One yeah. fill. Mike probably knows which fill I'm talking. Oh, about. of course, that's the only fill yeah. that that's like out of out of fifteen songs. That's like one of the only moments that's like I have to play that fill right every time. <laughs> and if I it's a little break, so right? Cool. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. The break, right? Yeah, it's the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that one. Nailed it. Yeah. 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 That one. Yeah. You guys are making me sweat, yeah. and I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm wow. bad for you guys. Go. Now, I should mention we do have a show the night before the Bubba Bash in Connecticut. Yes. Um, so we yeah. will at least we'll at least get a few of these songs. You know, one one notch on the belt before the the bubba bash show so that's that's uh, i don't want to say the show's our rehearsal but it's it's more like <laughs> you know no it is we'll, we'll at least have <laughs> one more shot one first bite of the apple so to speak you know yeah well that way any gremlins that see because i come down here every every day after work and pound away on the keyboards the pedals and my bass every day after work uh, on the weekends, I'm down here at six o'clock in the morning till like 10, 11, you know, in, in, in the morning and all that, I got it. 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 I'm at my desk. I got it. I got it. I'm in the car. I got it. I got it. The moment you're out there, 
<laughs> you ain't got it. You know? <laughs> it happens, man. You or, know? If I'm, or if I'm watching you. Yeah. All right, listen. I'm yeah. down here killing subdivisions every single day. Mike comes down. He's standing in front of me. I can't play it. <laughs> it's like ham handing. You know, I'm like, Mike, you got to come down. I got it nailed. <laughs> you know. I mean, but it's the band know. mascot. It's it's always it's one way. of them. We got multiples. Yeah, yeah. We got one named Gary too, but he's not here. Oh, oh there Cost. we go. Another one. My cuteness overload. Wow. <laughs> Mine are outside because they're loud and annoying. Mine finally yeah. left after whining and bugging me. Tim, I don't. Tim was just that? pushing her way in. <laughs> I don't have one. Tim, I have a question about the family giving their blessing. Um, how did that happen? Uh, Michael is, you know, very tight with, with Carrie, you know, and, and that's that. There you go. <laughs> hey. I, I have a, you know, his sisters, um, I've seen his sisters in some of the rush groups and they're friends with a couple of the admins and, they're involved in some uh, stuff up in Canada. Have yeah. they, do they have knowledge of the Bubba Bash or have they ever reached out? Or I'm sure pretty much everybody in the Rush world has knowledge of the Bubba Bash. But no, we, we have not heard. No, you know, it could just be, you know, they're busy doing their things. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. oh. Adeem, nice. with, uh, you mentioned earlier um uh, you know about learning the songs singing the lyrics even getty said they're not you know neil's lyrics were a mouthful to do um and sort of the phrasing what are what are your most challenging sort of you know we talked about drum fills and things like that what are some of the most challenging vocal parts we already know the end of cygnus x1 <laughs> to me the, yeah the most challenging thing for me is the words i don't understand because English is not my first language. So, I mean, luckily I'm married to a British guy, so he translates everything to me. <laughs> uh, but it's like hours at the gym and when I'm driving to gigs or when I'm home, I'm like listening in repeats to everything. And then I kind of like memorizing the phrasing and how it's supposed to happen. And then it kind of like, it makes sense. But I would say this is probably the most challenging, like the the, the interesting words that, I don't know. I can't think about yeah. one right now, but make it, subdivision have some interesting words that I'm like, what? what? <laughs> you know, so yeah, you know. Yeah. That's to me. But not <laughs> shop, but not shopping malls. You got that one. That right, one. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> shopping malls, shopping okay. malls right? <laughs> May maybe and the basement bars. Basement maybe bars, basement bars that appealed to me mm -hmm. when I heard it. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Backs of cars, Ooh. not anymore. Being cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no way, cool. right? That's high school. Cool. High school halls. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it was always you, my favorite. Yeah. You, you don't have an accent when you sing, right? It The accent goes away. Um, It's kind of like, I would say, oh, sorry about that. Uh, that's the one thing I work on the most is like the accent. I mean, I work with Billy a lot in car rides and stuff. We're like, okay, how do we phrase that one? How do we make sure it sounds more like Canadian or like not very, you know? <laughs> so. But personally, I think that little exotic flavor is very interesting in some of it, you know? Yeah. 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 Kind of like yeah. when, I, when I was flying back from Italy, and the, and the waitress was coming by with the dinner and she goes, would you like chicken or ravioli? I thought that was great. <laughs> ravioli. Ravioli. <laughs> you know, so a little, a little different flavor in some things, you know, is kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Ravioli. Different yeah. flavor, different inflections, you know. Yeah, it's... yeah, it's pretty interesting. It is. It is because we each we each put ourselves into this, regardless of how yeah. tight and rigid we are to the trueness. We still can't take ourselves totally out of it, right? You know, just because we can't. Yeah. You know. Well, my I, when I listen to Adi singing, 
I don't I, she sounds to me so close. Yeah, to exactly. Kitty, yeah. Which is why I was amazed because you have a much stronger accent than I realize when you speak versus yeah. when you yeah. sing. But what I interviewed John Waite one time and it was the same thing. He's he's got a really thick British accent when you talk to yeah. him. His accent goes away when he sings. Yeah. And you should you should that. you should hear him after a few Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> We might have had a few before our interview. Uh, no, I, 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 want, kinda, I know his routine a little bit because I've worked with uh, him. He's a yeah, he's, he, he was a fun guy. That was a, that was a neat interview. I watched that. That was a very fun interview. He was. And he's, uh, I love I love John Wayne. His, yeah, his, he's just a really so great down to earth person. Yeah, not at sound check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know nothing. The okay. other side Just comes saying. out. I know nothing. Just saying. <laughs> well, Ooh, that sounds like some scoop. Yeah. <laughs> some dirt, yeah. We heard it here first on Rush Fans. <laughs> like, oh. I'm going so, to like that stuff. backstage as so, a, a Bubba Bash. Okay. <laughs> So I know I, I know you know Bubba Bash is a is a tribute to Neil and, and Mike you're gonna have various drummers playing on your kit, but are there other musicians that come up? And yes, play? yes. I, I wanted to get to that. Uh John Wesley, a good friend of Neil, uh Vertical Horizons, uh did some time in Porcupine Tree. Uh oh. he'll be up there playing guitar. Uh our our Great our fans. good friend and and my Italian Goomba from the East Coast here. Frank Bello from Anthrax is going to come up, killing oh. that bass again. He returned cool. from last year. Yep, as nice. did John. And nice. uh, also we have Ed Toff, uh, Jethro Tull, Doobie Brothers drummer. Yes. Right? Yep, yep. He's vertical. Come he, some stuff. And he he used and to vertical, be vertical Horizon. Horizon. Well, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> I love and, uh, I love Ed's playing. He's he's got well. He'll be a, there. Such a cool. Yeah, song. I'm excited about it. Ed Top. And oh, yeah. we also have a uh, YouTube bass sensation, Rodney McGee, is going to come up and play a song. Uh, nice. A, uh, a a keyboardist from Brazil who who uh, designs uh, VSTs for like keyboard patches and stuff. Uh, oh, who yeah. I, yeah, I've been working with him over a couple months about developing a rush pack for Arturia. And we just became such good friends. And I said, hey, man, why don't you come over and play a song? And nice. he did it. So he'll be here all the way from Brazil. His name is Alan wow. Lobo from the VST Academy. And then uh, I heard Dan Avidan, uh, a.k.a. Danny Sexbang from uh, <laughs> Sex Ninjas or something, is, is supposed Ninja to be here. Sex party, but, I think it is. But, but, but honestly, I haven't heard about him since. I haven't heard, heard from him since I... <laughs> Since I talked to him months ago, so oh, let's hope he shows up. <laughs> I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. And uh, Seven Antonopoulos is is back, and oh. Joe Bergamini and Jason Bittner. Oh, nice. yeah. and, oh uh, Bittner's Bittner's killer. Am I forgetting anybody? Mike Portnoy, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bergamini's great. Well, Johnny oh, Dinklage. Andres Ferraro, Andre Andres Ferraro, drummer. He's uh, currently in Hamilton with John Dinklage. They'll oh, nice. Be here again. Yeah. Yep, and. Uh, if I forgot you, I'm so sorry. My brain is mush, <laughs> but I th I think I got everybody. And uh, it just hey guys, I got to like interrupt. Good. I got to interrupt really, really quick. I've got a hard out in about two minutes, so if I disappear, <laughs> you say on. hard. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, let's, um, <laughs> hard. Uh, yeah, we're getting close to about an hour, so uh, yeah. maybe we'll kind of wrap up. But uh, there are 50 tickets left. Where do they get them? Uh, the Keswick Theater, or go to. Uh, why why not on uh what the hell is that thing bands in town uh mm -hmm. why why not band.com uh like i said keswick theater directly uh anywhere on social media um you know i i pretty much plaster the interwebs you know with bubba bash so if nice. you can't find it you can't come that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy to find it. yeah. <laughs> pretty much <laughs> So and, and like I said, words from anybody, and then we just want to say thanks um, again. Well, thank but, you for having us. Yeah, yeah thank you, nice man. Guys. It's a lot yeah, of thank, fun. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah. No, we appreciate. I'm excited, it so especially with everything going on, to take the time to do this. So that means a lot. Yeah. When will you guys hands. post this? I'm just curious. Uh, usually, um, <laughs> when we record something, it's within the week, four or five days, typically. Yeah. And we'll mm -hmm. send it all to you. Weekish or so. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let you do know. You, 
Uh, yep, I, I'll supply you with the links. You know, if you want to nice. put it in the post, you know, the oh, ticket yeah. links for and, sure. You know, all for the pertinent sure. links for this, and yeah, yeah. and the, the direct link to Cedar Sinai. You know, which I'm sure you're all aware of. You know, Neil's yep. donation page. Yep, that, yep, that's that's where this all goes. All of it goes right there. Every nice. time we raise, you know. Nice. Yeah. All right. Hey. Cool. Thanks for uh, tuning in whenever you're watching this. Um, comment, like, go to whywhynotband.com. Uh, check them out. Um, listen to everything they do. Buy their records. Don't just download Spotify. Buy the records. Oh, thank uh, you. Sort thank of thing. You. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Love you guys. You're awesome. Yeah. And we'll see you uh, so next time. Right. Are you guys yeah. coming to the Bubba Bash? I feel almost ashamed. Not to say sure. It. Okay. Not no? sure yet. Okay. Yeah. Come on, I had to get that one in. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> you guys need. L l let me know and if you guys need, need to come. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Bye-bye. See you guys in January. See ya. Bye.